Okay gang, this is Ben from the world's smallest lab. We're going to demonstrate how bucking coils can generate a load and, and if not affect or positively affect the rotator speed and uh, produced, uh, well in the case of this thing, a significant enough amount of power to say it's not a fluke. So anyway, we have our uh, nice fluke PM3394B uh, scope here. A 10 farad non-polarized capacitor my handy dandy Chinese RPM meter which works very well I might say the ubiquitous little rotor motor that just keeps on humming filter cap and two meters that shows current and voltage on the output stage we're going to demonstrate here this thing first starting off and working in DC mode in the non resonant stage and show you the RPMs on the rotor and then we're going to we'll put it into resonant state, uh, state and show the difference in the output and the rotor RPM. And then we will vary the load and show you the difference in the output and how the output of the RPMs of the motor is affected. And then and lastly but not leastly we will short the output and show you how and what happens. Plus, we'll run the thing up to over 3,000 RPM and show you where the, volt, where the current and voltage actually drops as the RPM goes up uh, from a massive overdrive condition on the motor itself. So, here we go. Let's turn on the power supply. Give her a flip. Ah, oh, she's so reliable. She always works. Now, this is the non-resonant waveform. It's the diodes are feeding and clipping into the filter capacitor here. And you can see the current running up. We've got 16 mils, 17 mils. I'm going to cut that down to about 10 milliamps and let the voltage creep on up. And you can hear the motor winding up here. And you can see the voltage here. And I'm measuring peak to peak for my own reference. You can see right now it's 3.94 volts peak to peak. There's some um, ringing in here on the diodes and in the coils as they switch off and on back and forth to charge up the the uh, capacitor here sounds like the motor is getting close to equilibrium so let's uh, let's look at the RPMs we're running 2577 RPMs here we're putting out 13 14 mils at 1.473 volts now watch what happens when I put the when I put the uh, parallel capacitance across the coil to resonate it and you can see it's not perfect. I don't have the exact perfect capacitance. You'll also notice that the motor slowed down a little bit. But look at the voltage and the current. Now it's stabilized now, but it, it raised up. And uh, it's holding pretty steady now. And our RPMs did drop with the load under resonance down to 2431. But this is the last time you'll see that RPM drop. We're varying the load, etc. Remember 2428. Now, let's uh, crank the load back down as we come down with the load. I'm going to drop it down a lot less. Yeah. 2419. When we dropped the load, the RPM dropped. It should go up. It didn't. Our voltage went up. Our current dropped. Now let's put the load back up again the other way. Let's go up to about 15 milliamps. Uh, 16 or 15 milliamps. Okay. 2409. They actually RPM went up some. Now I'm going to. Uh, oh, I just got clip leads everywhere to do stuff. I'm gonna. I am going to short the output capacitor now. And you can hear the motor speeding up now. We're up to 24, 60, 72, 76, 80, 83. Under a shorted rotor condition, it's actually speeding up. We're up to 2,500 RPM now with a shorted load. Let me flip my meter. It timed out and decided to quit. I've had about six aborted attempts to demonstrate this here. Okay, every time the battery goes dead, I forget a word, I can't find a clip lead. I'm just having more fun than a barrel of monkeys. But, uh, now let's, uh, oh, come on, gang. Oh, we got the short here. That's why there's no voltage and current. <laughs> Getting ready to say some bad words here. Let's unshort it. 
We're going to unshort it. Now as we're building up the load here in voltage and stuff, the rotor is slowing down, but not that much. Uh, we're back down to our equilibrium there of, of, of uh, 2418. 2417 now at 9 volts and 3 point, 9 milliamps and 3.25 volts. Now here's the funny thing here. Let's put up a uh, let's oh let's say 10 milliamp load on the device, 3.2 volts. So I'm gonna turn the voltage on the motor up to 19 and a half volts. Listen to it speed up. Now you'll see the current and the voltage go up here at first. And if it will behave. Okay, get the wire out of the crank. As it speeds on up here, you'll see the voltage and current, see the current stop slowing down. And as the rotor speeds up, you're going to start going back down again. This thing has a very wide band, pass band for the, high, for the band pass filter that this resonance coil is. But it does go down. Watch it make a liar of me now. Uh, it's holding it isn't, but anyway, I thought it would. It's done it every other time. Maybe my current, my loading is not right. Let me, I'll try a different loading here and let's try it again. Uh, I'm not embarrassed when things don't work right. <laughs> I'm running on up to, uh, oh, about 20 mils, and let's run it up now to, to a heavier loading and see if that will affect it. Crank it back up again. Oh, here it goes. Yeah, with a heavier load, as, as the RPM increases, the current's going down and the voltage is going down. Didn't have enough loading on it. That's what was wrong. So, uh, there's a lot to be learned here. Uh, I can see now where I need to really work on a pair of matched coils and matched positioning to uh, get the non-resonant voltage on the coils down to just a zilch. It's so far off right now, but now at uh, 19 and a half volts and 16 milliamps and 2.6 volts out, I'm running 3,064 RPM. And technically now, as it slows down, I'm slowing down the rotor, but you can see the current. Uh, well, no, it didn't. It went up a little bit, but now it's coming back down again. There's a resonance spot up around 19 volts, apparently, on this particular unit. But again, that's it. Uh, as in real life, and uh, as they say, real TV, uh, things don't go perfect, but I've tried to show you what's going on here. And uh, uh, just, just for the fun of it, i got to short this thing one more time. Let's short the output and see if it speeds up. Very shorty. You can hear it winding up. Which makes me a very happy camper. Okay, that's it for today, gang. K4ZEP and I'm gone.